The law and order as well as human rights situation in Afghanistan under the Taliban government is deteriorating every day. Women and girls in the country have been deprived of the basic rights. It has been more than 500 days since educational institutions, especially schools, have been closed for women. Moreover, in a recent decree by the Caliphate government, universities have also closed their gates for female students. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has urged the world to come out in support of Afghan women. While addressing the UN Committee on the Status of Women, he said that the UN is supporting schools wherever it is possible schools with girls in the secondary level. The donor community has said there will only be aid where women are involved. Where women are not involved, the aid will not be present. So, the pressure goes on to guarantee that we have women working in the humanitarian sector. In the public services, few women are working and we are fighting hard to increase it. The UN Commission for the Status of Women will hold an assessment of the situation of women around the world, which will go on till March 17th and special emphasis will be given to the situation of women in Afghanistan. The UN Secretary-General has time and again reiterated that the UN would continue to press for the fundamental rights for girls and women in Afghanistan. The UN mission in Afghanistan released a statement on Women's Day saying that the new Taliban leaders have demonstrated an almost singular focus on imposing rules that leave most women and girls effectively trapped in their homes. Since taking power in August 2021, the new leaders have banned secondary and university education for girls and women, banned women from working in national and international non-governmental organizations, and ordered women to be covered from head to toe, in addition to not visiting male doctors for treatment. Mm -hmm.